Hello, folks, friends, viewers, 3D geeks, <laughs> uh, however you um, shall be called. Welcome to this video. Today we're going to, uh, uh, I'm just going to show you a little bit about PBR materials, okay? Um, it, I think uh, it's a fundamental uh, ingredient to getting r r realistic output. And I was uh, working on this scene for, for my new course. And don't worry, I'm not going to try and sell it to you. Uh, but here, um, I was kind of really impressed by kind of how this looked. So I took those screen grabs. And um, for those of you who've seen my trainings before, uh, this is maybe looks very familiar. I kind of use the same things over and over again to teach. But uh, the, the point here is that if we set up a PBR materials correctly, and if we understand how it works um, uh, under the hood, then it really gives us the ability to get these uh, what I think I, I hope you'll agree, some very, very realistic results. Uh, these are kind of, you know, maybe close-up shots and things, so maybe you don't want to look too far at my kind of modeling of that rug there or whatever. But um, in terms of the, the, the finished look here on that material, um, it's, uh, I think we're, I'm, I'm really happy with that. So I wanted to kind of explain that a little bit to you. Uh, and so I obviously, those screen grabs, I kind of lost how I uh, got that done. So I try to recreate it in this scene here. So that's, uh, if I go full screen, yeah, that would get something fairly similar. So, you know, caveat, this is all in ray tracing. If I take off the ray tracing, uh, it's not really too bad either, you know, it's uh, in terms of the the floor here, that's without ray tracing. And uh, it's still still pretty good. But uh, you've got to, you've got to admit that when we've got ray tracing on the sharpness, and the detail in here. Uh, and if I select my camera, move my head out of the way, uh, camera is Cancini camera actor. And if I select that, make it a little bit uh, more in focus in the foreground here. Yeah, these, um, anyway, you know what I mean. These little bumps are, are very, very um, realistic. Okay, so in a nutshell, how to really set up your uh, PBR materials uh, correctly, all right? The, in, in, uh, in this particular one, really it's all down to uh, very it's i love it because it's so simple pbr materials compared to uh, if we used you know if you used v-ray before uh, i don't i'm not super familiar with corona actually because i just jumped onto unreal but the um for me, <laughs> V-Ray was always really tricky. You had to come up with all these tricks. So in a nutshell here, we have to basically just use a, um, a color, I would say last, but really it's all about the roughness and the normal. And as you can see, my setup is uh, ultra, ultra, ultra simple here. Um, all I have is a multiply with a parameter here to kind of uh, um, control the amount of roughness, kind of how light and how dark this image is going to be. And then a normal with always this flatness, a uh, node of flatness normal to, uh, because it, a lot of the time is too strong the normal uh, is too strong. So here in this instance, uh, you know, I did, uh, I've got the flatness on zero. So actually this, this was good. Um, but um, a lot of the time I reduce it here, maybe, you know, that that's why these little bumps come uh, very, uh, very strong, actually, and we can see them. So yes, it is impressive. But, um, uh, but they are quite strong. I'm not sure maybe even your, uh, your, so I'm decreased the um, depth of field here. I'm not sure even your client might be <laughs> sort of happy to see a floor that worn, you know, but uh, for, it does give the effect in this case. And then the roughness. So what's the secret? Well, uh, where I struggled for a very long time is that this roughness has to be in linear color here. So, and this is actually a, um, 
quick sell uh, image I used from the um, imperfections uh, part of their website so if you go on imperfections you'll see a lot of images like that and it has to be srgb uh, unticked here and if you don't do that then uh, if you're like me you're going to struggle because here you, you, it has to be uh, uh, images um, basically which are carrying information uh, gray information and it's not color so this gets complicated because color has got to obey a gamma curve and da, 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 and it's so on, so on but here uh, we're just saying what is reflective and what isn't what is rough and what isn't and so what is great about these images is that they are lot there's lots and lots of variation when you zoom in like that you can see lots and lots of variation uh, no pure blacks no pure whites okay so and also they're 8k so that it really adds to the uh, that kind of detail here um the way that i teach it in in uh, you know in my trainings is that here we really want to look at this when we go into detail lighting mode and you really want to observe uh, this uh, surface here without the color because a lot of the time the color is going to distract you know maybe not so much in this case but you can kind of see here it's beginning to be a little bit more confusing we don't know what's what with the color so as here detail lighting uh, gives us uh, just the pure we're seeing the lighting the normal and uh, the roughness and uh, and then so here this 8k image and the um the the normal itself this one so if i jump back in here sorry to open and close all these windows but that's just how it works um and then here if i double click on this image this i actually did it using substance designer um and there was just kind of some splats you know and some different le levels of gray it was quite fun to use that uh, but um it allows you to kind of think in terms of uh, these this sort of little dents that the um uh, that the surface would have received in the normal so i've got a lot more to say you know in kind of how to approach that how to think of it but uh, i want to make these videos sh short and to the point i've got lots of really nice comments from you people uh, saying to me you 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 appreciate that and again i'm happy to keep the conversation going if you want to uh, ask more questions in the comments and i'll make some more videos to um to reply to help you Okay, I hope that was helpful and I will see you next time.